Hey everyone and welcome back to another edition of Ray's Reviews and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about unstoppable domains and blockchain domains. Now this is a really important video as I feel unstoppable domains and blockchain domains in general represent the future of web 3.0 and of course they also have a sick integration with crypto.com pay and with that said let's jump straight into the video. So first of all, what is a blockchain domain? Now we all use these regular domain names like .com and .org when we browse the internet. Well, a blockchain domain is similar to a regular domain, except, well, blockchain domains are stored on the blockchain. Now the benefit of a blockchain domain, and in particular, the case of unstoppable domains, is that it does three things really well. So the first thing is that they simplify crypto payments, the second thing is that they can build uncensorable websites. And the third thing is digital identity. So let's talk about number one first. Blockchain domains replace these super long crypto wallet addresses with a human readable name such as .crypto, .nft, or .zill in the case of unstoppable domains. For example, when you want to receive crypto payments from someone else, you would have to currently give them like a really, really long crypto address. And often there would be like a different wallet address for each different blockchain network. Like you could have a Bitcoin wallet address, an Ethereum wallet address, a Cardano wallet address, a Kronos wallet address, which is tiresome and cubersome. And I don't know about you, but I certainly do not remember any of my wallet addresses or which networks they belong to. And I'm constantly checking when I send my crypto to the wallet addresses as I'm always super worried that I copied and pasted the address wrong. So what's the solution? The cool thing with unstoppable domains is that you can sync up your unstoppable domain to many different cryptocurrency networks, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Kronos, and about 290 other ones. So when you are receiving cryptocurrencies from other users, including sending crypto to yourself, instead of having a separate wallet address for each one of these cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrency networks, you would just give them a blockchain domain and you could receive many different types of cryptocurrencies with it. Your blockchain domain essentially becomes your wallet or your new wallet that replaces your old wallet addresses. And the cool thing is that your blockchain domain is interoperable with different wallet addresses and even exchanges. So this really simplifies the process greatly of receiving crypto payments. And just as an inside note, I really believe that crypto payments are going to disrupt the traditional payment space in the future and the companies that really jump on this trend and really make sending and receiving crypto payments as easy as Venmo or PayPal are really going to dominate this space. So for example, instead of a really super long address, I could just give my friends like raisereviews.crypto. Wait a second, don't steal that domain name. Let me register it first. Okay. All right, it's important to keep in mind that Unstoppable Domains is not the only blockchain domain service out there. For example, some of you guys may have heard of Ethereum Name Services, which was really famous for their ENS airdrop, which was worth almost $10,000 at that particular point in time. But ENS, which is also a blockchain domain service, you can only get a .eth extension and you're really limited to operating only on the Ethereum blockchain and not to multiple networks like Unstoppable Domains. So please be very careful. Not all blockchain domain services operate the same way. I think Unstoppable Domains is unique and my favorite because once again, you can sync it to different blockchain networks to your Unstoppable Domain. So you no longer have to worry about sending or receiving payments to the wrong wallet address. So other than loving how they really solve a major problem in the crypto payment space, and once again, they are integrated with crypto.com pay. Again, one of my favorite crypto projects. Let's talk about number two, which is building uncensorable websites. When you purchase an NFT domain by Unstoppable Domains, these NFT domains belong to you fully. Yes, these NFT domains by Unstoppable Domains are owned and not rented. So you basically buy the domain with a one-time registration fee and you never have to worry about renewals again. Whereas with traditional domains or DNS, it's operated by a centralized entity, which obviously has the ability to remove, modify, or even censor your content. And of course, you have to renew your domain on a yearly basis like with GoDaddy. But when it comes to these blockchain domains, it really is true ownership. No one can take away your blockchain domain or censor your content without your explicit permission. The domain is stored in your wallet as an NFT, 
just like a cryptocurrency. And of course, in the case of unstoppable domains, it would belong on the Polygon network or as an ERC-721 NFT. Now the same blockchain domain that you use to kind of send and receive payment can also be used to publish uncensorable content on the internet. But unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. So before I continue, I do want to talk to you guys about some cons. Let's start with the one major con. So you see traditional websites are owned by ICANN or the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers. And blockchain domains are not part of the ICANN system. What does this mean? Well, it means unfortunately that not all browsers support blockchain domains. In fact, most browsers, including Google Chrome, you would need to download an extension or add-on before you're able to access and use blockchain domains. And unfortunately for the mainstream population, they're not gonna have these add-ons installed natively and may not wanna go through the trouble of installing these add-ons, which unfortunately means they won't be able to access your domain and content, which really limits your blockchain domain and content to more of a crypto-focused audience. Now, I do believe that more native functionality support will be coming in the future, for example, there's already some browsers that already have built in native functionality and those browsers are like Brave Browser and Opera Browser. While we're not 100% there yet, I do believe that one day crypto domains will have much more native functionality and that's gonna be a really cool thing. All right, the other thing is that while the domain is 100% owned by you forever without renewal fees, if you wanna publish content on your website, you would still need to pay for web hosting and the web hosting would have to use IPFS or interplanetary file system. And there are much more limited options compared to traditional web hosting. So this is another con, but keep in mind the pros. Number one, blockchain domains are extremely secure and censorship resistant and decentralized. You can post content knowing that you can never be taken down by the government or other companies. Number two, it makes sending and receiving cryptocurrencies much easier using your domain name. Number three, Unstoppable Domains really has an easy user interface and low fees as they take advantage of the Polygon network, which is a layer two Ethereum scaling solution. And number four, I think we're super early to blockchain domains. Similar to the early 90s, where some early adopters took advantage of going online early and making a website for their company or brand, it certainly wasn't mainstream. And not every company or individual had a website. It certainly wasn't a requirement by any means, but a lot has changed since then. Fast forward to 2022, and pretty much every company, every person has a website. But what about those early adopters in the 90s who bought these dot-com names that they thought would be valuable to companies in the future and later flipped them for millions? Hey, just an idea, not saying anything. <laughs> All right, personally, I feel like we really do need a service like Unstoppable Domains to move crypto mass adoption forward. I think this is a trend that's gonna happen. While the addresses are just way too complicated for the mainstream population, a simple domain name to send and receive payments is just much more user-friendly, much more human readable, and in my opinion, the future. All right, the final thing that I wanna talk about is number three, which is digital identity. Now, this is still very early, but I believe that digital identity and reputation on the blockchain is gonna be the future, just like crypto payments. And I think Unstoppable Domains is really gonna be like an unstoppable leader in this space. Like in the Web 2.0 world, for example, you may have a LinkedIn profile, which is your digital identity. But a limitation of it right now is pretty much that profile is largely created by you. No one knows if it's true or not. In the Web 3.0 world though, your unstoppable domain could be like your new LinkedIn profile. It's a digital identity with verifiable transactions and data about you on the blockchain and verified through the use of badges, which is a brand new feature that's coming to Unstoppable Domains. And so this is super exciting and I will make a future video about it. But first of all, I just wanna show you guys a quick tutorial on how to register and set up your Unstoppable Domains. I do have a referral link below if you guys are brand new to it. So let's jump straight in. All right, so after clicking on the link in the description below, you guys are gonna to get to a website that looks like this. And basically over here, it's NFT domains with purpose, no accounts, no passwords, just one name. And just for a quick example, if I wanted to search up something like Ray's reviews, I can search it up and see if this domain name is available and it is available. And over here, you can get the various extensions with like .x, .crypto and the various price that it shows off. So first of all, if you don't have an account yet, go ahead and sign up for an account. You can sign up using email, Google, or to connect to your wallet. I already have an account, so I'm gonna skip this part and just log in directly. 
All right, so let's say, for example, I wanted to register raised reviews. I could pick like .x, .crypto, .com, .wallet, .nft, .dow. You can see there's a lot of options. I'm going to choose .crypto. I'm going to continue the cart over here. Full disclosure, I do have some promo credits, but if I did not, I would just um, have this total due of about $40. It's going to ask if you live in the U.S. And for me, it's a yes. So I'm then going to hit checkout. And then over here, you have... Uh, a bunch of different options. For example, you could pay using your traditional credit card method. You just enter it over here. You could pay using PayPal, um, which is very simple. You could also pay using cryptocurrency. And how you would do that if you wanted to pay by cryptocurrency, you just start the transaction uh, over here. You could, you could send cryptocurrency to the various wallet uh, addresses over here. You could pick between like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and USDC. Um, and obviously the other one is using the crypto.com app. Um, if you wanted to just use the crypto.com app to pay with it, that is another great option as well. Um, so I'm gonna cancel the payment here. And if you go to crypto.com app, all you need to do is use the crypto.com pay app, which um, obviously is a very seamless process. And all you have is, you know, you go here, instant payment with no network costs. And you just go to the crypto.com pay, pay app and you scan this QR code and it will basically allow you to complete the payment. All right, so I just finished purchasing my domain. Um, so I'm just gonna go over here. It's gonna say, go to my domains over here. And it basically see, it says that I own raisereviews.crypto. And right now I can see that I'm not minted. So what does minting mean? So I'm just gonna click over here. So minting is the process of publishing an NFT domain to the blockchain via your wallet to gain full custody of the domain. This means that nobody has control over it except for the rightful owner. That's you. And this is what makes them decentralized and ultimately unstoppable. So once minted, neither unstoppable domains nor any other entity can make changes to the domain or take it back to you. So there are various ways to kind of mint your domain, but the simplest way is to mint to Polygon. And basically through the Polygon network, you can mint and manage your NFT domains for free. Uh, unstoppable domains will actually cover all the gas fees. And so if you go back over here, you can basically say, this is a free mint on the Polygon network. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna click this free mint. It says mint domain on Polygon. Polygon blockchain fees are covered by Unstoppable, delivering a cost-free user experience. So I'm gonna hit continue over here. And basically it's gonna give you a couple of options about which wallet address to choose, whether it's MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, MyEther wallet, or Wallet Connect. All right, so you can choose whichever wallet that you want. I do use Coinbase wallet, the mobile version. So I am gonna click on Coinbase wallet, but if you have MetaMask, it's exactly the same process. Just please keep in mind that you will need to change your MetaMask or your Coinbase wallet to the Polygon network in order for this to work. So I'm going to click on Coinbase wallet. So it's going to ask me for a signature request. I just scan the QR code. I'm going to hit sign. I'm going to unlock with my password. And then obviously through two factor authentication, they're going to ask me to confirm my email and sending me a verification code. So I'm going to hit send verification code. All right. I'm just going to enter my verification code. All right. So I'm going to enter my verification code. It's going to confirm. And it says, once minted, your wallet address will be set as the domain owner. So I've already added this. So let's go. I think this is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna hit this one right here. And it says, the domain owner will be assigned to the following wallet address over here. I'm gonna hit, I understand. And I'm gonna hit confirm. And keep in mind that this action is irreversible. So I'm gonna confirm that. Once again, there's gonna be a verification code sent. All right, my confirmation code just arrived. I'm gonna paste it in and then I'm gonna hit confirm. And now it says the minting process has started. Your domains are now being deployed into the blockchain and your crypto wallet. The transaction is being executed on the Polygon network. And when the transaction is complete, your domains will show on the blockchain. I'm gonna hit track progress. All right, so we'll just give this a little bit of time as it looks like it's just minting right now. And after this thing is completed, I should be able to see this on my Coinbase wallet on the Polygon network. All right, so while we're waiting for the minting process, I just have a cool piece of news and that is that NFT avatars now support Polygon, Binance, Avalanche, and Phantom NFTs on Unstoppable Domains. That's right. So Unstoppable Domains basically now support these NFT avatars that you, you basically minted on these different networks like Polygon, Binance, Avalanche, and Phantom. 
And that's really, really cool. For example, if you have minted NFTs on these blockchains, you can basically link them to your unstoppable domain to verify ownership, add your favorite one to your unstoppable uh, profile, or you could basically create a digital identity that's all you and all yours. So a lot of people have already added like Ethereum minted NFT avatars to their unstoppable domain profile. But now that there's more and more blockchains being added, it just really helps in terms of mainstream adoption and unstoppable domains really being that leader in digital identity. And I think that really adding support for these blockchains really is going to help bring Web3 accessibility to more people. So really, really excited about it. So that's another cool feature, being able to kind of set up your NFT avatar. And there is a tutorial here on how to set up your NFT avatar. I'll put in the link in the description below as well, if you guys wanted to learn all about that. But let's go back to uh, see if our minting process is complete. All right, and it does look like our minting process is complete as it's no longer pending. I will check in my Coinbase wallet momentarily, but over here, raisereviews.crypto, I'm just gonna hit manage over here. All right, so once again, we are over here and you have your profile picture over here and you can add your avatar. You can add an NFT avatar, the one that I told you guys um, just about earlier on those various different networks in addition to Ethereum. And you can obviously upload an avatar as well. Like if you just wanna use a JPEG or PNG file for now. So over here, you can basically put your name, a short bio. You can basically, uh, if you have a website, you can link it here in addition to kind of putting all your social tags over here. And once again, badges is a new feature of uh, Unstoppable Domains, and I will make a future video about this, but this will really help in terms of digital identity in the future. So I'm gonna scroll back up over here. Now, if you go to this crypto section, this is the coolest part, right? So you can basically add all the cryptocurrency addresses, like add your Ethereum wallet address, add your Bitcoin wallet address, add your Litecoin wallet address, and pretty much any other of these um, cryptocurrency addresses. Uh, there's so many different cryptocurrency addresses that are supported over here. And basically, instead of you know someone sending you payment to one of those super long wallet addresses, all they would do is, for example, send you funds to raisereviews.crypto. But once again, please keep in mind, you have to add your actual address to this profile before you're able to do that. Over here is your website. If you wanted to basically create a website, an unstoppable website, once again, you do need to use IPFS to do the hosting on it. Um, over here is that you can basically transfer your domain to another address because this is an NFT. You can basically send it to someone else and you can basically sell your domain, uh, bridge it as well. Uh, so lots and lots of really cool options there. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys that it is showing up as an NFT in my Polygon, um, in my Coinbase wallet on the Polygon network, and then we'll wrap up this video. And here it is, it is showing up as an NFT on my Coinbase wallet. So once again, if I click on this NFT, there it is, it's raisereviews.crypto. That is my unstoppable domain NFT. So everything is working perfectly. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on unstoppable domains. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I do have a referral link below, but please do your own due diligence. Please do your own research. Let me know your thoughts on unstoppable domains. And if you plan on getting one for the future, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.